So when I, when I did these sketches for David Fincher on House of Cards, uh, one of the first few themes I wrote is I call the puppet master theme because I always thought of Kevin Spacey as sort of this puppet master who's able to ma manipulate people. It was a very simple two-handed piano thing with this uh, arpeggiation. That was the left hand and then the right hand did this sort of hemiola. So you might recognize that from the House of Cards theme because what happened was when I got to orchestrate the other sketch which became the main theme um, I took this other sketch, which, it, which I had started, the very simple bass line. And David said, you know, we need like a call to arms. So I was thinking about this. We need something, so I was thinking about something grand, felt a little bit anthemic, but also was a little dark, you know, and twisted in a way. So I just I started with this, this gritty sort of electronic bass line. That's my favorite part probably because that's the part where you have A major in the <laughs> right hand and A minor in the left hand. And it's wrong, but it felt right to me because it felt like this to me, as simple as it is, this is like the stubbornness of Frank. He like, he's not going to change. He's just going to keep plowing through everybody. So that's, that was pretty much the basic bones of the tune right there. But in the, what I did was in writing the whole arrangement of the theme over the intro, I just went... simple ideas but a lot of film music works that way you know you want to say a lot with a very simple gesture sometimes that's what the ear can can take so we went from that and then right into the theme and then I brought the hemiola back over that and they just sort of you know all intersect with each other there was one other one other little piece I wrote in this series of sketches I did for David, which became very useful, it sort of became the Frank and Claire love theme. So I started playing around with a very simple sketch, um, just these two harmonies that sort of shift back and forth between A minor and F sharp major with the, the third in the bass. And then it's just, it was just the idea that um, unlike the other themes that are very rhythmic and very metronomic, this one was rubato. And it had this almost sort of elongated and um, there was an angst to it, which I really liked. It was kind of sexy, but it was also, um, um, you know, sort of dark and, and um, strange in another way. <laughs> 